Today, I'm gonna to go about bolting in the ARB twin air compressor up to the Tundra to make airing up easier when I'm coming off the trail. Coming up. I'm Drew and this is Evergreen Overland. On this channel we do reviews on camping and overland gear, we hone our outdoor cooking skills and techniques, and we showcase 4x4 vehicle modifications like the one we're going to talk about today. In my old truck, the old Green Bastard, my 1987 Toyota pickup, I had this twin ARB air compressor installed to help actuate the rear locker as well as air up my tires when I'm coming off the trail. I've been meaning to get this thing installed for a while and a couple of things have stopped me, just the never ending list of projects and different things I want to do to the truck, but also figuring out where I want to install the dual compressor. I thought about putting a bracket or making a bracket for underneath the hood, but honestly, I wanted to put this somewhere out of the elements a little bit more. I've had a few issues with it before in the past, blowing a few of these relays. It has two of these 40 amp relays. Thought about mounting it underneath my driver's seat, which would be great, except I just didn't want the constant noise airing up when I'm coming off the trail for my wife and the dog and that kind of stuff. Which brought me to looking around in the rear of the truck bed to find a good spot after doing my truck bed build out which you can see a link to the video right here if you wanna go watch that. There's quite a few places in the truck bed where I could choose to mount this. I think I found a spot that's gonna be nice and tucked out of the way. It's not really gonna take up any space that I utilize for anything else. And it's gonna be accessible from outside of the vehicle so I can hook up my air chuck without having to get into the back of the truck bed. Let's go take a look at where I'm gonna be mounting this thing up. So where I'm gonna be mounting this is actually gonna be on the driver's side of the vehicle. From here, you can kind of see the mirrored image of the space where it's gonna be mounted, uh, a little bit more open and accessible. And it's basically that area right back there to the right of the interior bed box. So there's that same amount of space over on the left driver's side of this thing tucked along the other side of the cabinet in the back. And although I think it's gonna be a little tricky to get that side panel out, I think it'll give me a great spot to mount that thing where it isn't gonna get in the way of anything else that I need to store and it's kind of just wasted space anyway. And then I'm going to actually route it to the secondary battery for power rather than the primary battery. My thought behind that is whenever I'm gonna be using the air compressor to air up tires, the truck's gonna be running and charging the secondary battery anyway. And rather than having to extend all the lines, I can do all of that and hook it up to the auxiliary battery just within, you know, three or four feet of where the whole thing's going to be installed. Moving things around, I'll need to take off this panel here. That'll give me access to be able to mount it back in this little pocket back here. Pull this out. Clear, baby, clear. <laughs> Getting a little bit different angle at this. I think it's all gonna work out and fit in there pretty nice. I think I can elevate it a couple of inches and mount it just in of this beam up front here so that if I ever need to, I can just leave it installed in there and service it this way. Can't tell you how good it is to actually have a nice little workbench and just a garage, man, it's pretty sweet. Um, so I'm gonna come up four inches from the bottom of this. I'm actually gonna do five inches. Not that you need to know this. I mean, you're not gonna have the exact same scenario I'm having, but I'm kind of winging where I'm gonna install this. I'm gonna line the base of this edge up with this line, and then I'm just gonna eyeball these so that it clears that with this line. Look at that, almost like I know what I'm doing. That was some famous last words right there. Cool, there we go. Fingers crossed my measurements were right. So the compressor's right there and it fits in pretty well. And then I ran the, so I ran the cord back behind over to the battery that is over in that box. Wired up both the positive and the negative to the battery rather than going through the um, fuse block just to give it more juice. I know ARB wants you to go directly to the battery and I ran that around the back like I showed you and it just barely reaches 
where it's gonna need to plug in. All right, next I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna probably install this airline into the actual compressor itself. And then it'll go to this manifold here that I'm gonna mount. And then I'm gonna mount the switch kind of close to it. And I'm hoping that with the manifold and then the fridge uh, plug being right there that it'll kind of guard that switch from anything knocking into it and accidentally turning it on. It'll kind of be surrounded by things that are a little bit, you know, protrude a little bit farther out so it should protect that switch from anything just flipping it on. Okay, so the ARB comes with, I don't know, probably a 15 foot uh, wiring harness and everything. And it goes to um, three different switches, one being the on off switch for the compressor itself. And if you have the air operated selectable lockers in the front and rear, uh, you can hook up two different rocker switches to these. I don't have that yet. I don't know if I ever will. If I ever do, I am gonna leave this kind of coiled up in the back so that if I need to, you know, reposition this to run a locker down the road, I can. Although I'm not sure if I'd go air or if I'd go uh, electronic e-locker with this thing. These two leads go to ignition switches, basically. This one's used for the LED portion of the light, which I'm actually not gonna hook up because I don't want a light shining at night constantly on this thing. And this one's gonna go to a power on the fuse block so that when the fuse block's fired up, the, the compressor will be active. I am gonna test this real quick before I go any further to make sure both of the motors are running. Cool. They're both working. I'm gonna carve a rectangular hole out for the switch here. That's not too terribly bad. Well, cut the hole a little too big. Just kind of is what it is. I'm going to uh, get it all wired up and then I'll probably just end up siliconing it in there so it doesn't want to move around and that'll be fine. But it looks pretty good. Looks pretty dang factory right there. I need to look up the manual real quick to wire in the uh, rocker panel switch. I think I already downloaded it somewhere, so I'm going to look for it here. That means number two would be the red-yellow. And this is always super fun for somebody who's red-green colorblind, like myself. How's it going? It's going okay. You want to flip that lever? The one I can't see. That? <laughs> That's the compressor. Well, that was pretty perfect timing. I'm going to get all this cleaned up, vacuum up my sawdust, button everything up, and we'll take a final look at it. Got the ARB air compressor fully installed, cleaned up, ready to go. Now when I get done with the trail and I want to air up before getting on the road, pop out of my driver's seat, open up the side compartment here, reach right in my back door, where I have my air hose, my tire chuck, get it hooked in. Hook the air chuck up, turn it on. Go ahead, pump up some tires. There you have it, ARB air compressor installed finally once again in my vehicle, tucked away so it won't get in the way, but also super accessible from the side hatch. I'm super stoked to have this thing back and installed in my primary off-road vehicle. Hey, if you like this video, please consider hitting subscribe to be notified when I put out new videos. Mash that like button to let me know I've done a good job. I'll put a link in the description section below over to Amazon where you can purchase the ARB air compressor. If you have any questions and you want to throw a comment below, I'd definitely appreciate it. I love interacting with you guys and kind of building this community out a little bit. And if you want to follow more about Evergreen Overland, uh, you can follow me over on Instagram at Evergreen Overland as well as Evergreen Overland. Have a good day.